Hey, and welcome back to another edition of Carol's Corner. And we have in the house a junior, Chase Nix from San Marcos High School. And he's already been offered a number of scholarships. And I think we're going to see why on this play. Now, so let's start ourselves off. What does a receiver have to do? He's got to be able to track the football. He's got to be able to use his eyes, his hands, and his body to adjust to the way that a ball is thrown. And then we need speed and, and the ability to run after the catch. He has all of those things. But we're going to see the most incredible job of tracking the ball I have ever seen in my life. Starting off post break. Now, we're starting on a post break. He started on the outside of the numbers, giving himself more room. He's going to break nice, easy, doesn't make any moves. So he's running full speed. He doesn't slow down. And he's going to work up the hash mark, not bringing it into the middle of the field by route. Let's watch him. It's Right now, it's just run, run, pause. All right. He has run vertically up that hash mark, we have a safety on top, we have a corner who's trying to run with them, and there is the football. That ball is overthrown. He should not be able to catch that ball, plus, instead of the hash mark, it's thrown to the middle of the field. Shouldn't catch it. Let's watch what he does. And pause. Oh my goodness. He tracks the ball. You can see it with his eyes. He extends. Look at the extension with the hands. He has left the ground with his feet. He is in a literally a dive for the ball. Eyes, hands, and body working together. He had to leave the hash to adjust at the last second. And look at this finish. Extension. Catch it. And what does the ref say? Touchdown. That is the most incredible extended catch I have. Oh, look at that at the end. Oh, my gosh. That's why he's got scholarship offers. He is an amazing football player and fun to watch. And that's Carol's Corner.